Hey YouTube, NeoSolid22 back again. Got some more pickups to show you this week. Um, and got a uh, mystery box too that my wife made for me. So we'll show that at the end because I don't know what's in it yet. Um, but first off, we had a little like trunk and trade event at Game Trader 2. So I went out there for a little bit and I picked up a few things that, uh, that were out there. So first off, I got from Chris Fallen. He's usually at the flea market, but he was out there that day. So I got an unlicensed Pac-Man from Tingen. I didn't have that. I had all the other versions, I believe. So this one completes the Pac-Man on NES um, collection. Then from uh, James Schuenmeyer, I got a couple of games. First, he had uh, Mappy Land for sale. So I picked it up. I think I paid five bucks for that, which is a decent price on that. Um, then he uh, actually gave me this game because I had uh, helped him out with some stuff he needed. Um, so he gave me... A little case here. Might and Magic for NES. It's a little dirty, has yeah. some stickers on it, but this is actually a pretty hard to find game. So I was happy to get that one. And it Mama, came with the Adventurer's Mama, Guidebook, Mama. which is difficult to find. And it's in yeah, I'm okay shape. Uh, and then next, I had had a trade pending with uh, Andy Bunch for a while, and he was out there. So we finally got it done, and I got Rainbow Islands. For the NES. So the NES counts going up a little bit today. Uh, and then lastly, this is actually just a box, but it's a box for Silkworm, which is a game I don't actually own yet. But uh, Chris Limp was out there and he had this box. He thought he was going to trade it to somebody else and they didn't need it. So I'm supposed to be on the lookout for just something common for him. It's not worth a whole lot. So I'll grab a game at some point that he needs and trade it to him. All right. Also, the same day as the truck and trade, I went out and I had seen this on a Facebook group and I had contacted the person and uh, asked them if they you know, still had it and they did, which was a shock because it had been on Facebook for a couple of weeks. So uh, I went and I bought it from them, got it for an okay price. Um, it's Cade shaking the camera back there. So what it is, is it... TurboGrafx-16, this game didn't come with it, it was already in my collection. Thanks, Kate, for getting in front of the camera. But the game didn't come with it, it was already in my collection. But the reason I bought this is I already had a turbo, but this came with a turbo booster, which is extremely hard to find. And that gives you the you know, RGB uh, AV outputs, and it also does the power cable there, too. So, very cool. The TurboGrafx looks great connecting through that. So I was very happy to get that. It came with uh, two controllers, a turbo tap, which I already had a turbo tap. And uh, no games, but it came with a power cable, which is not the official power cable it's supposed to go with. Alright, so lastly, we have the mystery box. Well, I take that back. I see one more thing here. Uh, a Will of Fortune plug and play that uh, Chris Fallen just gave to me because he's had it for like a year at his uh, booth at the flea market, so he said I could have it. And this is kind of cool because it actually will take the little plug plug in games. There's these little carts that can come with some of these plug and plays, and this one takes them. And I actually have a couple of those carts I got a good while back. Okay, so you're going to see me open a mystery box later, like I said, and um, that's from uh, G Game Trader 2. My wife had went and bought me a few box games that, that Chuck got in, and I uh, I decided later that we would go back to Game Trader 2, and I actually bought one more box game, uh, and I got uh, Destiny of an Emperor for the NES, of course, and uh, it was a good deal on this one. So Capcom game I didn't have, now I've got it in box. Uh, it's not complete; it doesn't have the manual, but the cart's in pretty darn good shape. So I was happy to add that one to the collection. So that's another one from GT2. And then the mystery box, you'll see the, the rest of the, uh, the games that my wife picked out for me. Uh, last weekend, I was uh, yard sailing. And I, I did run across a few things. I guess this was basically from two sales that I went to. So the first sale I went to of the day, um, I had seen it posted on Craigslist. So I didn't figure there would still be anything left. And they had some PS2 games posted on Craigslist that they had there. Well, I got there, and the PS2 games were kind of like, eh, mediocre. So I walked up there, and they actually had some um, some okay stuff. Um, this is not that great, but I got Madden 2003 for the Game Boy Advance, which if you've watched my videos, I'm not a big Game Boy Advance fan. I don't really collect for the system. But when you see a complete in-box Game Boy Advance game, you probably grab it, especially if it's a quarter like that price. 
And they also had, for a quarter, complete in box, Ants Extreme Racing for a quarter. So that was good. And then there were some uh, PSP games there, and I don't particularly collect for PSP, but I'll buy it if I see it cheap. And these uh, fit that mold. There's Medal of Honor's Heroes 2, Medal of Honor Heroes 2, which is complete. And that was a dollar. And then Crazy Taxi Fire Wars, which is not complete, but nonetheless, pretty good deal in the original case. That's what I'm really looking for. Then they had some Game Boy games there, and uh, I decided just to grab a couple. There were a few there. They weren't that great games. They were just, you know, kind of like junk Game Boy games. But I got uh, U.S. Gold Presents the Winter Olympics, and oh, that was Lillehammer, so it was 94. Yeah, that was a quarter. Then I also got one of these. It's like a battery-powered game, which is, I guess that's a rumble pack, maybe? I, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't have much expertise on the Game Boy Color, but uh, that one was 25 cents, and it's uh, Top Gear Pocket, which is cool. Top Gear series is a good series. And then I went to one other yard sale. I actually was almost done for the day, so I found something at the first yard sale, and I found something at the last yard sale I went to. And I just happened upon this last yard sale. I went to grab some donuts from our local donut shop, and uh, I just happened to see a sign like just down from it, and I was like, okay, cool, I'll go there. So I walked in there, I was looking around, I didn't see any games, I did, I bought like a Pokemon, a Pokemon, Pokemon Pocket Guide for my kids, and they proceeded to already rip that thing to pieces, so it's in the garbage already, but nonetheless, I ran across these, Dreamcast games. Now none of these are spectacular titles, they're, actually some of them I already have, but it's NBA 2K, which is actually my favorite um, basketball game of all time, of course, complete. NFL 2K, which is actually my favorite football game of all time. I have this one already as, as well, which uh, is kind of interesting. It's a not-for-resale copy, so it must have been a pack-in with the probably the Sports Dreamcast model. Hmm, I don't see those that often. Then I got uh, Virtua Tennis, which I didn't have, which I was really happy to get because this is a great tennis game. Complete, of course. Then this one's just in a standard case. It's Tee Off, a golf game for Dreamcast. I've never played it. Didn't have it, though. Uh, then I got a Sega All-Stars, which is their greatest hits version of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, which is a great game. I don't think I have this one, actually. This is uh, I have the second one on Dreamcast, which is, my, in my opinion, the best Tony Hawk game. And then I got World Series Baseball 2K2. Yeah, which is a, it's a good game. Uh, the World Series Baseball Series was kind of weird because the fielding, you didn't particularly control the fielding. You only controlled like the pitching and batting. I'm not sure if this version was that, but I actually have this one too as well, I think. But, you know, they were like, I think I got this in the Pokemon book for 5 bucks. So all the games in the Pokemon book for five fifty actually. So I thought that was a good deal. All right. All right. So now the mystery box. Cage, you ready? Real Cage, you going to help me? Come on. Papa and the day. So anyway, this is a mystery box my wife actually made it. I didn't buy it anywhere. She bought the games for it because Game Trader 2 got in a big NES box collection. So I'm expecting a lot of box stuff in here, although it's kind of a small box, so I think she went cheap on me. Just kidding. She's sitting right here because she wants to see me open this and my reaction to the games. So Cade and her decorated the box with some nice Ninja Turtle stickers and my, uh, my former Amazon label is still on there from where I ordered something. Okay, then I what's open. Let's, oh, I know, you're in a hurry. Come on over here. <laughs> you're in a hurry. And watch show. I gotta cut this thing up. Hopefully I won't cut any of the stuff inside. Max! And that's my son Eli yelling. Because he can't be not in here. Well, on top I already see a game that I don't have. Which is one I told her to get. Ah. So, I knew she would probably get that one. Alright. What is it, Kate? Show it to the camera. No, just the one. Just one. Well, we Show got them. Show them what's that. We, we have... Golf Power! Golf Power! With Greg Norman. With so that's Greg a, Norman. It's a rather uncommon golf game, actually. It's uh, not that expensive. So, uh, I was glad she got that one. Then this is one I actually didn't expect. This is the one Grolly picked. Yeah. This is one I didn't expect. Oh, it's the Codemasters one, of course. Nana. This is an unlicensed game Nana. from Codemasters called Big Nose the Caveman. Nana. This is pretty cool. 
It's complete, she thinks. I see cardboard, I see manual, and I see cart milk. If you didn't know, this is uh, from Codemasters, who also was Comerica. So it's uh, one of the gold carts with a little switch in the back. You've seen those before on my channel if you've watched my channel. So we got that one. And then another one that I thought she would probably get for me because I told her I wanted this one. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, which was the most expensive of the bunch by a long shot, it seems. And that is uh, just boxing game, but uh, it's got the cart's not in great shape, but still, it's a good deal. Good price for the game. And it's one I've been wanting for a while. And the box looks great. The boxes are actually the best part of this. So, G.I. Joe, excellent. I'm really happy to get these games. She did a good job. Thank you. So, yeah, with the help of Chuck and Matt Gurley, my buddy Matt Gurley as well, who works there. So, excellent games. Added to the NES collection quite a bit today. And uh, Kate will be up next showing off what he got from Game Trader and Amazon. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And today, and we're doing our video uh -huh. game pickups. Yeah. Okay, but let's get started. Uh -huh. The first one is my uh -huh. favorite game for the uh -huh. uh -huh. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh -huh. Eat Edition from Game Boy Events. Where'd you get that from? From, from, from Game Trailer. Yeah, who gave it to you? To Game Trailer. Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> Chuck, that's right. All right, now show off what you got in the mail earlier this week. You got your Amazon package. What'd you get? Sonic ah. Boom Shack Crystal. For what? From Nintendo 3S. All right, what else? What else yeah. did you get? No. Uh, Skywriter's Trap Team. Near Neural head, head brush, brush and Nero head brush. These right. are double. Where'd you get those from? Shuck. That's right. Alright, so that's all you got. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Enjoy yourself. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Like. Like me. <laughs> Comment and subscribe. Comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.